What's going on everybody and today I'm going to show you how to use PPC ads or pay-per-click ads on Bing and Google in order to develop your SEO strategy. So let's just hop right in. Okay, so let's say we have a site that sells Model T car parts and we want to know exactly what we need to rank for uh, organically in the search engines in order to facilitate sales for our e-commerce store. So the first thing I'm going to want to check is just to see what comes up whenever somebody types in Model T. Now you may think that this is a good thing to rank for, but it's incredibly going to be incredibly hard to rank for. As you can see, you got History.com, which is the History Channel. Uh, you got Wikipedia ranking up here. You got all these videos of Model Ts, and none of these really uh, are selling car parts uh, this one's selling model t's this is how to drive model t's so this isn't going to be a good buyer intent search term if you're trying to sell parts something that you may want to rank for is model t parts and when we use this we can actually see that this company here is running ads for Model T parts. So we know that we want to probably rank for Model T parts. Um, now, if you also look here, this is parts, 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 parts. Everything that's coming up is parts. Um, it looks like these people would like to actually move up in the search engines here because um, they are running ads. Um, so still, when even if you're on the first page, running ads can still be effective. But that's really not the reason that I'm creating this video. All right. So what else could we look up for? How about discount Model T parts? And it looks like no one is bidding on discount Model T parts, maybe because there's not enough search traffic. I'm not sure. But this is also something we could want to rank for because it's buyer intent or maybe buy Model T parts. It seems like these are the two industry standards here. Um, Model T Ford. And then you have this Max Auto Parts again for, you know, with the good URL. Uh, structure Ford Model T. Uh, so the next thing we want to do is see how much search traffic we are able to gain from buyer intent keywords. Uh, so we're going to want to go into Keyword Planner. So just go to ads.google.com and click on Keyword Planner. Once you're in the Keyword Planner, you want to go ahead and get search volume. And I want to show you a couple things. So let's just type in Model T. So it looks like Model T parts for sale and Model T parts are the ones that are actually getting the clicks. And Model T is also um, getting some traffic as well. But it looks like Model T parts and Model T parts for sale are probably what we want to rank for. And we can actually rank one page for both of these terms. Um, so how do we do that? Uh, we're going to want to make sure that your category page that sells the Model T parts has this as a page title, um, also an H1, and then maybe we want to list the different types of Model Ts that you have on that page. But this gives you an idea of where your, uh, how much search traffic you're able to obtain as opposed to whenever you're just going for regular Model T which isn't really a buyer intent keyword. Um, <clears throat> and that's pretty much it. So by running ads to these search terms, you're going to be able to tell uh, which ones convert whenever you set up the conversion tracking. And I posted a link in the description below. You can read the article. Uh, there's a um, couple videos out there that show you how to set up your conversion tracking. And then you can also run this in Bing as well. But this will give you a good idea of which term converts the best. Maybe it'll be Model T parts. Maybe Model T parts for sale converts better. 
Um, so it's not always about the search volume. Sometimes it's just about how much conversion you get. If I get 20 conversions out of these 40 clicks, that's insane. I probably wouldn't get 20 conversions out of all the Model T traffic if I just went for just Model T. Or maybe I would get 20 conversions, but it's a lot harder to rank for you know, a shorter, more generic term. Uh, anyway, I hope this video helps you. I hope that you're able to run uh, pay-per-click ads in order to determine what you want to rank your site for. And go ahead if you have any questions and leave me a comment below. I'd be happy to answer your questions. And go ahead and like this video if it's provided value to you. Check out the article in the link below. It goes in a little bit more detail. And uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more updates.